welcome to this video where we're going to be solving typescript challenges so this is the first video and we're going to make use of this wonderful platform called exism uh, to solve all the typescript challenges so i've recently been solving a lot of typescript challenges in a way to improve my typescript knowledge and i'm using this platform and i thought it's a wonderful opportunity to share my learnings with my community on youtube with you guys subscribe to this channel and if you haven't subscribed this is your first time here hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification like this video for the youtube algorithm and let's get solving TypeScript challenges so we're going to start from easy level and then we'll pick up the pace as we move ahead and we're going to be doing all that on this channel so i'll create a playlist to attach all this video to them and you can find the playlist on my channel and then you can watch a bunch of these challenges as we continue to solve them so if you go on to tracks you have 60 languages for you to master they have a lot so since we're working with typescript so we're going to search for typescript and there are a lot of exercises here they are 95 in total so we're going to go to the exercises and you can see them right here so there's the hello world there's the two fair there's a lot so we're going to be solving everything on this channel and it's going to be wonderful so hit the subscribe button again guys uh, like this video share with your friends and let's get started so I'll try not to start with the hello world uh, tutorial exercise because it's a tutorial exercise. So let's get started with the two fair exercise. So clicking on that and we want to read the instruction to make sure we understand what we're trying to solve. And then we'll write the code. Uh, I'll explain like some conceptual overview and then we'll write the code. So it says two fair or two fair is short for two for one. Okay, that's great. So giving a name, return a string with a message. So it says one for name, one for me. So wherever we have name, we should return this particular string. That's what he's saying. So however, if we don't have name, we should return one for you, one for me. So let's take a look at this example. It says Alice, we should return one for Alice, one for me. So we have a name, we've returned the name Alice. We have a name here, Bob, we've returned the name Bob. So we don't have a name here, we're going to say one for you, one for me. That means we don't know the name. So let's solve the challenge, guys. Uh, so I'll write our uh, joint TypeScript track we're just starting so guys i realized before we can solve the two fair we actually have to solve the hello world tutorial challenge so i have the solution right here it's really simple we're going to return hello world and that's what we're going to do we expect the function hello uh, which is a string uh, by now i assume that you have uh, typescript knowledge if you don't i'll leave a link to a typescript crash course in the uh, description below so you can watch that and understand how to write typescript rather and if you have uh, javascript knowledge you can always follow along uh, pretty much so we have the particular type string run the test uh which, before we submit that uh let's see what we have uh, so great so we can submit and that's done so next we have access to solve the actual challenge that we want to look to solve so let's mark as complete confirm uh show me more exercises so yes great now let's solve the two fair challenge so like i was saying we already know the problem we know how to solve this so given a particular name parameter we want to return that name if not we should just return you so let's solve this uh let's solve this challenge guys so we're going to start in editor and then we'll start okay great so we have a boilerplate right here and usually what i do is i clear out this and then I, I write my code inside so but before i write it let's uh try and understand this with typescript so this particular function it will return a string that's what this is saying but we need to provide a parameter and we need to have the type for that parameter so the parameter of course is name because when you have a particular name you return it right if you don't you return a particular word you so we're going to give name which is a parameter and it's of course it's a string but let's make this parameter uh, optional because if we don't have it sometimes we, it's not provided so our user who is using this function might not provide the parameter so we'll make it optional and this is how you do that with typescript uh, like i said you are expected to have a bit of typescript knowledge before you can watch this video so let's write the function so we we'll say it will return uh we just want to return basically uh this particular sentence so we we'll use a 
a string formatting for that and we use this uh, back tick and so we have one for so stay for one for and then we have the uh, literal template right here and that takes uh the name and that takes name so if name is not provided uh so if name is provided put in name here yeah. if it is not provided we use this conditional uh and use you because that was all we were told so if you don't have alice if you don't have bob it just takes of it just takes you and then it fills that with that and the completion of the sentence is one for me so that's everything we have so let me recap right so if you take a look at this what we have right here is one for a particular name if it's provided it prints it right here if it's not it just make use of this u and we have this conditional we have this conditional sign all to show for it so then comma one for me and that's about it okay there's a full stop at the end so let's run the test and let's see if what we did is actually correct uh so also guys to let you know oh so it looks like you solved the exercise now we've solved it this is actually the solution so if you don't understand uh you can watch the uh, conceptual explanation that i provided it's very straightforward we will also have another method to solve these guys so let's submit this and let's take a look at another method uh so continue in editor we're going to work with another method and this method is we're going to create a class for it so we're going to create a class and we're going to work with that particular class so guys i see that this video is already getting long so i'm going to do a second part of this particular video and i'll explain how to use a class to solve this so we're going to use another method to solve this and you see in that video so subscribe again turn on the bell notification guys uh, thank you for watching see you in the next one